In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Within those three earliest passages is the revelation of the one God of the Bible. The truth that God is one, He moves by His Spirit, and He creates by His Word. This is the God that created you and I. Earliest titles for God in the Bible were Elohim, the Supreme God, Yahweh, Self-Existent One, Adonai, the Lord, the Great I Am, and Theos, or God. God foretold through His prophets that He would perform a unique miracle. Therefore the Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call His name Emmanuel. This child that would be born would be the mighty God, the everlasting Father. Emmanuel, God with us. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh. The Bible is clear that there is only one God that through His Spirit and spoken word would bring the Messiah into the world. This is what the disciples of Christ taught for the first part of the first century. The apostles of Christ wrote and warned of infiltration coming into the church. And indeed it happened. The apostolic fathers were men that were philosophers and not only Christian. They came into the church teaching different things than the early apostles of Jesus Christ. Ignatius of Antioch, Polycarp, Clement of Rome, and such like were the men that came into the church infiltrating and taking over and lying about the gospel, teaching traditions of men and philosophies, pagan philosophies. Yes, they were the ones that introduced the Trinity into the church. If God is one, how is it that God cannot be the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Because according to them, Jesus is not the Father, and the Holy Spirit is not the Father either. They separated God into three persons. For centuries, Trinitarians have lied about the history of the church. And in particular, they have lied about the origin of the Trinity doctrine. Many books have been written throughout the years teaching that the Trinity is Orthodox Christianity. But in reality, this is covering up a humongous lie that came after the Apostles were martyred. Truly, the Apostles of Jesus Christ were filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke through the Holy Spirit that in the last days after their departure, men would walk in and they would infiltrate the church teaching philosophies of men, pagan philosophies, and traditions that would not conform to the first century gospel of Jesus Christ.